Old St. Nick is a busy guy this weekend, just seven days now until Christmas Eve. Today, he paid a visit to some kids and their families at a festive brunch in Scranton. 2822's Aijai joined in the merriment. Merry Christmas! <laughs> a three decades Christmas tradition is alive and well at Cooper's Seafood House. Santa showed up wearing red and right on time for the holiday brunch. Families say the food was great, but the visitor from the North Pole was even better. I have four small children, so uh, seeing Santa Claus is usually the highlight of our, uh, our time. Cooper's is known for a lot of things, including their holiday brunches. It's why this buffet-styled, family-friendly brunch is such a big hit. Yes, we love to come to Cooper's. We're here for their Easter Bunny brunch. And they wanted to come and see Santa, right? Although the brunch is something the whole family can enjoy, everyone can agree that the kids are at the center of it all. What do you guys want for Christmas? Mm, a lot of land. The kids love it, and it's the spirit of the season, and we just love giving to the community, doing back with the community. I mean, just to bring the kids in here and see how happy they are and watch them with Santa and the elf, Miss Claus, and my reindeer. <laughs> Um, the kids just have a ball. The festive feast is as much a tradition with families as it is with Coopers and jolly old Chris Kringle. And this is our third year, third or fourth year. So what brings you back year after year? Um, it's just a great experience and we get to see Santa and the kids really love it. So. In Scranton, Aijang, 2822 News. Kids also got the opportunity to take a picture with Santa and tell them what they want for Christmas.